you could spend 15, 30, or even $40 on the same single CNC bit. But does price actually equal better value? So today, we're ending the debate. Three bits chosen by our CNC community. Each one will machine 150 of these CNC router bit holder trays. To ensure this is a true apples to apples comparison, each bit will be using the same G-code file, the same material, same work holding, same exact feeds and speeds on the same CNC, which is my Avid Pro 5x10, which got some new upgrades recently, including their new EX controller and the new control software. All right, let's meet our three contenders. First, the Speed Tool, $15, shipped via Amazon. The packaging proudly states it's made in China. It's a two flute down cut bit with a one inch cut length appears to have a coating, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. So this is our baseline budget tool. Next up, the CIC workshop bit, $30 shipped. It's also a two flute down cut bit with a one inch cut length. It definitely has a coating, although it doesn't list what that coating is. I also don't know where this bit is made. This is our mid range budget tool. Finally, the Jenny bit, 40 bucks shipped quarter inch two flute down cut bit with a one inch cut length proudly made in America. And it says it has a ZRN coating. I know this bit is manufactured by Cadence Manufacturing in Arizona, but the question still remains. Does all of this mean it cuts cleaner, faster and longer? For this test, each bit is cutting 150 trays. So at the start, speed tool cost you 10 cents per tray. CIC Workshop is 20 cents per tray. Jenny Bit is about 27 cents per tray. But here's the thing, that only matters if all three bits die at exactly 150 trays. If one of these lasts twice as long, suddenly the math changes completely. So keep those numbers in mind as we go through this test. So up first, Speed Tool. Will the $15 bit survive this test? Let's see. Two and a half hours and 75 trays later, Speed Tool is finished. Next up, our $30 bit from CIC Workshop. Can the mid range contender prove its worth? All right, CIC has completed its first round of cutting. 75 trays done. It's time for the $40 Jenny bit. Does American made mean better performance? And Jenny has finished round one, 75 trays completed. It's time to take our second look under the microscope to see what these look like. We've cut 75 trays with each bit, same speeds, same feeds, same tool paths, same cut time. So two and a half hours, each one has cut 75 parts. So first up, let's take a look at speed tool to see what it looks like. Let's see what we see here. I'm not seeing a whole lot of difference. Now we will put on screen uh, the difference, like what the first, what it looked like out of the package versus what it looks like now. But a good indication here is this changeover line right here. You see that? That's how deep we're cutting. So the flutes up here are unused. They have not been cut. Uh, they have not been cutting. And here is where they start to. So what we can see is the edge is starting to round. But overall, that's all I'm seeing. Next up, CIC Workshop. Let's see what this looks like underneath the microscope. All right, so you can visibly see that the coating is is coming off and again we'll go up to this transition point so up here the bit is the bit these flutes have not been cutting these edges this again haven't been cutting and then when you move 
you can see exactly where the bit is, how deep we've been cutting. That is the transition right there of not used to used. All right. Next up, the Jenny bit. Let's see what Jenny looks like here. Okay, again, this one is coated. And if you're unfamiliar with coatings, um, coatings are put on bits to help with wear tolerance, to help with uh, heat, and it just adds uh, lubrication to the cut. And so they cut easier and longer. Uh, so you can see it just looks uniform here, uh, the coating does. All right, so this is really hard to see, but I'll point it out here, the cut and uncut cut parts. So this is the unused cutting edge because of our depth of cut. And you can see a little bit of wear right here, right in this, this is the transition zone. And just so you know, all 450 of these trays are going to the Purple Heart Project. We're selling them to help veterans learn woodworking. More on that at the end of this video. Let's move on to the second round of testing. All right, speed tool. After 150 trays under the microscope, you know where we did the most of the cutting here. You don't see any giant chips out of it. Um, you just see edge wear. You just see it starting to round over, or or rounding over. And this is after five hours of cutting. So another observation is the coating. The coating is definitely uh, worn from the cutting edge, but uh, it looks like it's evenly worn. All right, next up is the cutting it close workshop, the CIC workshop bit here. Okay, so the coating looks very similar to how it did at 75 trays. Uh, and you can see exactly where all the cutting is happening. Um, that coating is indicative of that. Right there is our depth of cut. So you can see that edge, nice and clean, hasn't been used. And then when we roll it down, you can see that cutting edge that has been used. All right, next up is the Jenny bit. This is after 150 trays. All right, you still see the original grind marks. Uh, that coating has not gone away. It's still consistently on that edge. Uh, The uncut edge, oh, sorry, the unused edge is very similar, very similar to our used edge. Like you can't see the difference really of where we cut and where we didn't cut. If you're loving this kind of content and want to see more of it, let me know by hitting that like and subscribe button. Every like and every subscribe helps me keep making these tests for you. So thank you. The speed tool. After 150 trays, this bit is showing some edge wear, coating breakdown, and the sound testing showed a two decibel increase. If I had to estimate, I'd say this bit has maybe 50 more trays left in it before the cut quality becomes unacceptable. So let's call it 200 trays total lifespan. At 200 trays and $15, that's seven and a half cents per tray over its lifetime. CIC Workshop is in about the same shape. The cutting edge looks very similar to Speed Tool, but the coating is virtually gone and it had a one decibel sound increase. If I had to estimate, I'd say this bit has another 50 trays left in it. So let's call this one a 200 tray lifespan 
at 200 trays and $30 shipped. That's about 15 cents per tray. But now let's look at Jenny. After 150 trays, this bit looks like it's just getting started. Zero sound change, minimal visible wear, the coating is pristine. Based on what I'm seeing, I bet this bit could handle 800, maybe 1,000 trays before showing the kind of wear we've seen on Speedtool and CIC right now. Let's be conservative and say 800 trays. At $40 shipped, that's five cents per tray. All right, something I wanted to show you real quick is we just went through and got these cleaned up uh, just with a little bit of sandpaper, not, not a lot of cleanup, wasn't necessary. But we've discovered some really cool things here. One, you can see the cut quality much better now that we actually clean them up. Now, I, the reason we looked at them and judged them before we sanded them, because you could argue that we didn't sand, we sanded some more than others. That aside, you can see that there's ridges, there's chatter marks in these that weren't sanded. Uh, so it's really interesting going down these stacks like this, you can see the cut quality change and it's, uh, really, it's, it's really interesting. So the $15 bit costs you seven and a half cents per tray. The $30 bit costs you 15 cents per tray. And the $40 bit costs you five cents per tray. The most expensive bit is actually the cheapest to run. So let me put all this into perspective with a side-by-side -side comparison. Edge retention after 150 trays. Speed tool, fair. CSC Workshop, fair. Jenny, excellent. Coating durability, speed tool, fair with visible breakdown. CSC Workshop, bad with missing coating. Jenny, excellent with zero deterioration. Sound change over five hours of machining. Speed tool went up two decibels. CIC Workshop went up one and Jenny had zero change. The data is clear. The Jenny bit wins in every category that matters for long-term value. So there's your answer. Do premium bits cut cleaner, faster, and longer? The data proves it. And that's the power of buying quality. Now, about those 450 trays we just made. Every single sale is going to the Purple Heart Project. We're selling these to raise funds that help veterans learn woodworking and find purpose and peace through making. If you wanna support that mission, check out the link in the description and pick one of these up. These are limited edition trays. Each one is numbered and signed by myself. Once they're gone, they're gone. We designed these in-house you saw us manufacture them, be sure to pick one up. If you haven't seen the previous bit test video we did, click the video on screen. You're definitely gonna wanna see who won that. Click that link and I will see you in that video. Bye. The next three data points are gonna change how you buy router bits forever. That seems over the top, that's okay. <laughs>